so here we are in the gym about to get this workout started so welcome to my first commentary piece on my vlog so I decided to do this um, after I've recorded it because one it gives me a little bit better of an idea of when I'm talking as opposed to talking through it as I'm doing it because sometimes if I'm gonna talk through it as I'm doing it it takes my focus off the actual exercises and given that this was my first session back from being out I didn't want to be focusing on too many things at one time so just wanted to get through it and get it done so my first two exercises here was an incline dumbbell bench press and superset at that with an incline fly so with supersets I don't tend to do them quite often but when I do the reason why is because obviously I want to increase my training density which means getting a lot more work done in less time I'm also limited in the amount of weight that I can use when doing exercises like this so for example the maximum I can go with on the dumbbells in the gym at the moment is 20 kilos so in terms of increasing my training volume obviously if I add in extra exercises in the superset I'm going to get a little bit more work done and increase my training volume as well I've also gone a little bit lighter on the flies as well um, when it comes to we said these types of exercises I do like to go lighter because you see some people with these exercises they like to go heavy and their form is completely off so these focusing really on the slow eccentric lowering the dumbbells down and then obviously trying to bring them together as fast as you can on the concentric phase what you notice as well is with this workout and with my workouts during the week for the, uh, the next couple of months that I have a real uh, body building type focus on my exercise selection but my exercise execution is again it is focused towards sports performance so when you split the exercise into its eccentric, isometric and concentric phases um, which I'll explain a little bit more as the workout goes on um, I'm looking at a slow eccentric and a powerful concentric so as you see these reps for the second set of this exercise there's a focus on the slow eccentric lowering the dumbbells down and then powerfully pushing that back up to the start position what you'll also notice as well is with these chest exercises my elbows come no lower than parallel with the floor keeping tension on the chest and pushing back up similar idea now with these chest flies as you notice as my arms come down my elbows are roughly parallel with the floor this is also to keep tension on the chest and it's also due to the fact that I have suffered previous elbow or not elbow shoulder injuries in the past so there's a focus of keeping the tension on the chest and then not allowing that weight to be transferred solely to the shoulder joint. So moving on to the next exercise of the session, this is a Bulgarian split squat loaded with 25 kgs with the handy new small barbells that Eric recently got into the gym so this exercise can be varied in a couple of different ways depending on what muscle you're targeting in the lower limbs whether it's your quads hamstrings or glutes then your foot position is going to vary so with my variation today i'm looking to kind of equally target with the hamstrings and glutes so my shin is almost vertical with the floor on the way down the whole way down again trying to target those glutes specifically and a little bit more hamstring so working with two sets of eight on each leg I had scheduled to do three sets but my legs weren't able for it given that was my first session back these also tend to be a really difficult exercise to get into position for as you can see the struggle but they are also one of my favorite lower body exercises and um, as an athlete progresses through let's say a goblet squat um, or a front or back squat 
in terms of a bilateral loaded movement where you're loading two legs at a time then you move on to this sort of exercise which is again it's a really good exercise for emphasizing range of motion at the hip joint and stabilizing that single leg through a loaded squat So I'll just quickly show you a little bit of the second set. Again, I think I struggled a little bit more getting into position for this one, partly due to the fact that it was one of my first session back in a couple of weeks, and it's my first time doing this movement, especially loaded movement. And we can also see Sam in the background, who was a little bit early for her after schools program on Wednesday. Um, so again, you get to see that firsthand. Next section of the session was a tri set, which is three exercises combined into the one set. So this was a shoulder focus tri set with a shoulder press, again focusing on slow eccentric and then explosively contracting those muscles upwards, again bringing the elbows down to parallel with the floor. I have the bench set on a slight decline, so not completely vertical. Again, due to those shoulder injuries that I would have had before, this position feels best for me. Second exercise then was a lateral raise. Form on these today wasn't great because, again, due to fatigue from the previous exercise, um, it's a very push-focused session, obviously. Um, so fatigue getting the best of me and then lack of training over the last couple of weeks as well. Um, so looking to tighten up on my form over the next couple of weeks. We'll continue to use 6 kgs until it's perfect and then we'll slowly increase the weight over the following weeks. Last exercise of this tricep was a dumbbell reverse fly. Again, sticking with 6 kgs. Again, an awkward exercise to execute properly. Form, again, not great here. We'll look to fix it over the next couple of weeks as well. But again, really good for those rear delts, an area of your shoulder that doesn't get paid too much attention to, but really starting to focus on it a little bit more now. So unfortunately didn't get to finish my session yesterday, but I'm back home next day. Got some goodies for you today. <clears throat> so what is up? Um, so I'm gonna go through my first, we we'll call it weekly weigh-in. Um, I did say I was gonna do it weekly, but I didn't wanna do it last week because being the first week, there was always going to be um, some sort of improvement um, in terms of weight. Because when you start a new, call it diet or say prep or whatever it is, there's always going to be an immediate effect because of one, um, I've lowered my average, we'd say a weekly carb intake. So that's going to have an effect on, we'd say water retention and muscle glycogen. It's going to be slightly lower. I've also improved, um, we'd say the quality of the food in my diet. Um, so that's going to have an effect as well in terms of... <clears throat> Uh, stress management, um, how I actually feel um, subjective. I've also made an increased effort to get, we'll say, more sleep, uh, better quality sleep, up to my fluid intake, um, and also kind of evened up my sodium intake throughout the week. Um, so again, all those things are gonna have an immediate impact on, we'll say, body composition, how I feel, how I look, and obviously that's gonna reflect the weight on the scales. Um, so I'm going to do it now, um, it's what, Thursday the 11th, 12th, sorry, um, so we are just under two weeks, so we're a week and a half in, 
Um, it's been fairly easy to, we'd say, track calories except like intake um, because what I've done is I've prepped on a Monday and my meals on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday have all been exactly the same um, for both weeks. Uh, but this week's meals were slightly different to last week. But in terms of, we'd say, tracking calories, uh, maintaining protein intake fairly high, I think the range has been between 130 and 190 being the highest. Uh, but I've been averaging around 135 to 145. So again, it's been pretty consistent. Carbs have been no higher than 250 on any one day, but they've been averaging around 150 to 200. And fats again, averaging on that range of 30 to 80. Again, if you watch the original video um, on my prep and how I'm gonna structure it, they all, those are the ranges that I'm looking to stay in, um, which is obviously pleasing to see. Um, and then if you look at the weight itself, um, I'm gonna put a screenshot up here or here, depending on where I put it, um, of my weight change over the last, we'd say, 10 days. So I started at 80.8 kilos on the 3rd of October, and now, as of this morning, Thursday the 12th, I am 78.7. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna stay roughly in this range um, for the next two or three weeks. Um, calories are on average about 2,200 to 2,400. So again, I'm gonna maintain in this range for the next couple of weeks, keeping protein high, doing nothing really major. Um, I'm back training um, as of yesterday, as you can see from the clips. Um, so that's good. Another session tomorrow, um, and we should be good to start the program in full on Monday, which is kind of exciting. Um, so, other than that, nothing really uh, major to report. A little bit sore from yesterday, which is again, excuse me, it's going to be, I would say, standard because my first session is about a month. Um, a couple of exercises that I haven't done myself in a couple of months as well. So, again, all good. Uh, feeling probably the best I've felt in, I'm going to say, six months. Um, due to, we'd say, consistently um, having more veg, fruit and veg in the diet. Um, but yeah, all good. Works up and running as usual as well. Um, just in case you didn't know, the new Introduction to Strength program is starting this weekend. Um, and also going to be announcing an intake of two online clients for November, for a month, for free. Um, kind of in response to a couple of people I've been talking to and the fact that it is Mental Health Awareness Week. Um, so a little bit of a story around that, which I'm gonna reveal soon. Um, but again, all good. Check-in's pretty good. So at the moment, I'm gonna get into cracking editing this video, um, a little bit of it. And yeah, see you.